guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I've been MIA for a while. I was sick and then I didn't have time to record and it was just all these things getting in the way but finally I'm able to record this. This was supposed to come out like a long time ago when opening game was going to happen but um, stuff got in the way. Anyway, point is, today's look is a baseball look. I'm a huge Giants fan, so it was inspired off of the San Francisco Giants. Um, you guys can switch it up, make it whatever team you want it to be, but um, I hope you guys really like it, and I had so much fun creating this look. I hope you guys use it, and I can't wait to see pictures of all kinds of different teams and stuff coming off of this look, so I hope you guys like it. Bye! Hey guys, so the first thing I'm going to go in with is the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette. And I'm going to go in with the shade Devil. It's the bright orange one. This palette has really great pigmentation. So you just go in, tap your brush at least like once or twice, maybe tap off, tap off some excess. And then the color pigmentation is really strong. So a few taps will do you good. And then I'm just going in focusing on the outer corner and blending it out upward and over. So I'm going to create like a, a round shape for this look because um, I'm going to carve out like a baseball. And it's a, like a half circle instead of going with the crease of your eye. So I'm really trying to make that eye rounded out. And then I'm just adding to the inner corner making that also just as intense as the outer corner and then going back in with some more of that devil shade and making it intense in the middle too and just buffing it all out, blending it, make sure that there's no harsh lines because I really want it to be smoky. So now with a smaller fluffier brush I'm going in with that same shade devil and just intensifying the more inner part of the eyeshadow leaving the outside to like be more blended up towards the brow so now it's got more of an orange a true orange shade and now I'm going in with the color Jones from the Urban Decay full spectrum palette and using it just as a transition shade it's not an intense orange it's more of a very light orange as you can see I picked up a lot of this shade on the brush I know you can't tell because it's so light but I picked up a very generous amount and I just went straight in, started from the outer crease and worked my way in. And it's still very light. So I don't want it to be a strong orange, just kind of like a transition color. And then I'm going in with a smaller, more precise, fluffy brush and picking up the color Sabbath from the Kat Von D Saint Center palette. And it's a very strong black. So I didn't want to pick up too much but um, I did get like a generous amount and I'm just kind of tapping it on the outer corner and without moving my brush too much doing circular motions to kind of blend it out and make it not so strong um, but I still want the intensity to be on the outer corner so I'm not moving my brush too much I'm just kind of like circulating it in the same place on the outer corner I'm doing the same thing on the inner corner I want that intense black, but I don't want it to be so smoked out yet. So I'm just kind of tapping it and then rotating it a little bit. And now I'm bringing it from the inner to the outer and kind of working my way in the middle. Blending it all out, checking to see if it's looking good. So now I'm going in with a clean, big, fluffy brush and just kind of making sure that it's blended out. And then I'm taking more of that Jones color from the Full Spectrum palette and going barely over top of the end of the black. I don't want to go over the black too much because I still want the intensity to be there. So I'm just going over the very edge of it, making sure that that's blended out. And then I'm going back in with the smaller, more precise fluffy brush with Sabbath on it and I just wanted to intensify the black a little bit more because it started to look a little bit more gray. And then I keep going back in, kind of blending it, making sure that it's not so harsh. Now is the carving out the baseball part. So I'm using a fine point angled brush and the NYX or NYX um, white gel liner. And I'm just going to kind of measure out where the top of my crease is on the center of my eye. 
and then from there I'm going to try to create a circular half like round shape if that makes sense I don't want it to really follow my eye shape because your eye is not a perfect circle so I'm trying to make half of a circle So once I have that shape created, I'm just going to go back in and fill it all in. I'm not too careful about this. I'm just making sure that all of it's covered and I have a strong white base. Um, I am going to go back and set it with some white eyeshadow, but I just wanted to make sure that I'm covering as much as possible with that NYX white gel liner. So now I'm going in with Bump from the Full Spectrum palette and just setting it nothing too precise um, it's not really a lot for color payoff it's more just so that the eyeliner is not gonna move and it does help a little bit with making sure that it is a truly white background and now I'm gonna go in with the same thing on the other eye just making that round shape trying to mimic the other eye now that I have the shape how I want it I'm just gonna go back in with the NYX gel liner and continue to fill it in making sure that I really pack it on so that way I really cover all the black that was underneath I'm still making sure that I'm very careful around the edges and trying to clean it up at the same time making sure that it's not like bumpy or anything I want a clean cut line and now I'm going back in with bump from the full spectrum palette and setting it now with a fluffy pencil brush I'm going to go in back with Devil and start intensifying the orange that's around the white baseball. So I wanted it to have more of like an orange glow behind it. So I'm just kind of going in touching up around it doing the same thing with Sabbath on the other side kind of making sure it's intense all the way around but not bringing up too high. Just enough to where it intensifies the cut crease I really wanted to have that contrast of white and black and now going in with a more precise pencil brush I'm just gonna dip a little bit into Sabbath and deepen up the black I wanted it to be more precise because I didn't want to bring the black up too much just wanted it right around the edge of the white and then I'm going in with Jones again on the fluffy pencil brush and then barely kind of fanning out the edge of the black and of course you gotta sing when you're getting ready that's a given everyone does that I'm going back in with Jones and I'm going to take it on the smaller more precise fluffy brush and then on the edge of the orange just kind of fan it out help kind of make it more blended out um, not really adding too much intensity so I'm going in with DLS liquid lipstick and red um, and then with a angled brush, I just go in, I take off a little bit of the liquid lipstick and put it on like a spatula or something. And then um, I just dip my brush in and right now I know it's hard to see, I'm sorry, I'm working on my camera angles. Um, but I'm just making two kind of circular lines. They're not too circular, but they are like at an angle because, you know, if you look at the baseball, they're kind of rounded in towards the middle. So you just make those two lines and now I'm just going horizontally across the vertical lines just making the little stitching on the baseball and I'm just tapping my brush like I'm not really even dragging it I'm just tapping it and now I'm going over to the other side creating those lines more of a better angle so you guys can see they're a little bit rounded they're not really straight vertical lines and same thing going in tapping horizontally to make the stitches and the eyes are almost done so now I'm going in and creating a wing liner because I just feel like no makeup look is complete without a wing liner so I'm going in with my typical elf black gel liner and my angled brush and I'm kind of having to pat the eyeliner on because of the white gel liner that we used for the baseball 
it's a lot harder and thicker to try to go over with another liner so you just kind of have to tap more than do strokes to make it look like a clean crisp line so I'm just tapping to fill it in and kind of when I get to the outside I start kind of doing a little bit more of a stroking motion because it's only eyeshadow on the outside so you're kind of able to do that more I'm repeating the same thing on the other side starting with the wing and then working my way in and then right when I get to where the white baseball starts I have to kind of start tapping to create my line now I'm just filling it in little tapping motions because you're not able to glide the eyeliner on on top of the baseball eyeliner is done let me go do my foundation done <laughs> so now we're moving on to the lower part of the eyes so on the lash line I'm just going to take the color devil and with the fluffy pencil brush back and forth motions building the color but still blending it out at the same time and I want to keep it kind of close to the lash line I want it to be smoky but I want the most intensity to be really close to the lash line so I'm just going to keep going back and forth, building the color, but blending it out at the same time and bringing it underneath the wing and kind of pulling the orange out. And now I'm doing the same thing with Sabbath. I'm taking a more precise pencil brush and going in. Black is a little bit more tricky, so you have to slowly build with black. That's why I took the more precise pencil brush with black and then with a more fluffy pencil brush, I took Jones, the orange light color, and I'm kind of blending it out with that. I'm going to keep going back and forth with Sabbath and Jones building and blending it out. So I went back in with Sabbath right now, building the black back up. And then with a clean, fluffy pencil brush, kind of blending it out. Now let me go put my lashes on. Done. And now onto the lips. I'm taking Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Witches. And just doing my thing, filling in my lips. This lipstick stays on really good. So when you apply it, you have to be very careful. So I'm taking my time outlining my lips, making sure it's the shape that I want, carefully putting it on. And after building the color up, it has a pretty good color overall, but I just wanted to go back in and make it darker. So now going in with Jones, it's a sparkly orange, it's the one that I've been using to blend out the black. And I'm just going over top of Witches and giving it like a shimmery orange ombre effect. Building it up in the middle, intensifying the orange and then just kind of tapping around it so that way it blends in well with the black and doesn't look just like I placed one pat on my lips. Now going in with a fluffy angled brush, I'm going in with the color Amen and using it as my brow bone highlight. And then with the same brush, I'm going to go in with the color Absolution. It's a white and gold and putting it on my inner corner. And there you have it, the finished look. I hope you guys liked it and I can't wait to see different teams and different impressions on this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye!